It's estimated that 5% of Australians, including one in four men over age 30, suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, a sleep disorder which can cause a person to stop breathing during their sleep over 100 times each hour. If you suffer from sleep apnea, the walls of your throat come together or even collapse during sleep, blocking off the upper part of the airway. Your breathing slows or in many cases stops altogether. Your brain detects the oxygen drop and sends you a wake up call. You will rouse slightly, you may snort or gasp and then drift back to sleep almost immediately. In many cases, a sleep apnea sufferer won't even know that they're waking up, which is why the sleep condition so often goes undiagnosed and why so many people are going about their day-to-day -day lives feeling fatigued and unrefreshed. Peter used to be one of these people, but after being diagnosed and treated for sleep apnea, the days of feeling tired and unrefreshed are a thing of the past. It wasn't until I used the CPAP machine for the first time that I realised the effect that the sleep apnea was having on my lifestyle and my sleep at night. I'd woken up for the last 20 years feeling like I'd been out all night partying and with very little sleep and that was how I felt every day during that period. So to wake up not feeling like that was a significant difference uh, from that day forwards. For the last 20 years I've been a perennial snorer, um, a lot of people have uh, mentioned to me how bad my snoring is and how it's disrupted their sleep. From a work point of view, I would get very tired mid-afternoon, the times where I'd start to nod off um, at my desk. There was also times you know, driving home from work that you know, I'd be very tired and would start to get drowsy behind the wheel. That I think was one of the big catalyst to do something about it. Uh, my doctor did explain to me the causes of my sleep apnea. Certainly weight is, is one issue. The machine has certainly helped to resolve my sleep issues uh, rather than trying to deal with multiple issues simultaneously which is hard enough in itself. It's a catch-22. It's it's easy to say lose weight when you're feeling sluggish and tired. It's very difficult to do because you don't have the motivation or the energy to do that. The process I went through to have my sleep apnea diagnosed was that I made an appointment with a sleep specialist. They recommended I have a sleep study test. So I went to the hospital and stayed overnight and had the sleep study test which identified the level of sleep apnea that I had and um, other statistics that come with the test. The results um, indicated that I had severe sleep apnea. Once I'd had the sleep test the doctor gave me a couple of alternatives. It took me about eight years before I did anything. Uh, one of the options uh, was a CPAP machine. And honestly, the thought of wearing a mask on my face at night didn't really appeal to me. Um, almost uh, seemed like a bit of a freak show, having to have a mask in a tube and uh, wasn't very sexy. Uh, and after about eight years, of having sleep apnea, I finally decided to purchase a CPAP machine. The CPAP machine provides a steady airflow into my uh, throat whilst I'm asleep and therefore prevents my throat from closing up uh, during the night. What it does is allows me to reach the appropriate sleep level that I haven't seen for 20 years. Once I tried the sleep apnea CPAP machine, after night one, the, the difference was just absolutely amazing. Revitalising myself with energy, getting active, dropping a bit of the weight. So there's a lot of flow on effects 
from using the machine and uh, hopefully it continues that way. For undiagnosed sleep apnea sufferers, detection can be the start of a new and improved life. Simply having more energy each day can go a long way. So if you are told or you know you snore regularly, are overweight, are a male over 30, experience excessive daytime sleepiness or have a large neck circumference, you may be at risk of sleep apnea. And it's important that you speak to your GP to determine if you are suffering from the condition or not. So take action against sleep apnea today. A weight loss of as small as 10% can sometimes be all that's needed to treat this condition and leaving you feeling healthier, with more energy and better able to enjoy a higher quality of life.